Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your first reading for this weekend marathon. As you guys know, on the weekends I post as many readings as possible for you to have a many to choose from and find the one that really resonates with you. If you resonate with this and you're Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is the place for you to be spoiled, all right? So if you'd like that, all you have to do is click on that subscribe button. For all returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here. Today, we're going to be doing and starting with a freestyle reading just to see what messages are going to open up this weekend's marathon, right? I am beyond sleepy. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Last night, I dreamt of Justin Bieber. Like, what the hell? But I did. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm like super tired today. I have no idea what's going on. But I am very excited to be doing this reading for you guys. So, you know, TMI. Too much information. But whatever. I consider you guys all my friends. So, those of you who are new... I think I'm a little weird. I am. <laughs> I am. Okay, so let's see. Universe, what is going on with Pisces? What messages are the most relevant for Pisces? By the way, guys, we've got a sale. I know you guys love sales, and we love you, so we have sale, okay? <laughs> you can check it out on the website. We have brought back all of our classic online courses, meditations, healing sessions. It's all there, and most of it, it is at 50% off. And I say most of it because what is not discounted, it's because it's like super duper affordable, and it's kind of... Makes no sense to shot, like chop off 50% because it's like super cheap. <laughs> so you can check it out over there. Pisces, lots of money here. Lots of money. Lots of stability showing up here. You've got great. Ooh, you've got great cards. You really do. So we're starting with the Ten of Pentacles. Which is a card that, you know, brings in the most abundance in the tarot. It's the card of abundance, according to me. The Ten of Pentacles is letting me know that you are headed to a very, very stable place in your life. Financially stable, emotionally stable too. This talks about you creating the foundation for your life, which I think you have been doing for a while. Um, having all the money that you may need for you know a rainy day your property your family your grandchildren if that is something that resonates with you you are in this energy of manifesting this currently things are shifting and will continue to shift and sort of like accommodate themselves to bring this reality into being okay this is very powerful very very powerful we see a couple we see kids, we see the dog, <laughs> we see the beautiful property, um, we see kind of like a glass, tainted glass window, like a mural kind of thing, very beautiful. And people who are smiling, you know, and I think Pisces, uh, this is not only what you deserve, it may be what you want, and it is definitely what you're manifesting. And I think it's because you are time and time again trusting the universe more. And sort of like putting things in God's hands, so to speak. Um, in the near future, you've got the fool. And you can see how she's surrendering here. She's doing this notion of, you know, surrendering, surrendering herself to this um, sort of like infinite wisdom. And you can tell that she's just going to leap backwards. And she knows that she's going to be held. She knows that she's going to be received and protected. The Fool is a card of new beginnings. Exciting new beginnings. Those kind of new beginnings that make you feel so passionate that you forget to see where they can fail. 
those kind of new beginnings that seem bulletproof. They not, they're not necessarily always bulletproof. With the fool, you do have to take a moment to say, okay, I feel so sure about this. I feel so passionate about this. But it is my responsibility with myself to evaluate the risks, evaluate what I could be doing wrong, you know, just to check that there is nothing that I'm missing. But it's definitely a feeling of freedom and excitement that is coming for you, Pisces. In the recent past, you may have been in connection with a soulmate. This could be a friend, this could be a family member, this could be a lover. This is someone who feels very comfortable to you, someone who feels like home to you. This could have been someone that you know from past lives or that you know from early childhood or maybe even teenage years. And this is someone who you you have seen you have seen how they have grown. Whether they are close to you or at a distance, you have seen and witnessed the changes in their life. Now, this person may be the one that is either proposing this whole new stable beginning with you or the one that you have chosen to build a structure with for the rest of your life or, you know, a steady foundation with them. In the recent past, some of you may have also felt quite nostalgic about maybe who you've been, who you were, the things you would do. Maybe you feel like you are changing, like you're getting older, perhaps. Maybe your priorities are shifting, and that's okay, Pisces. That's more than okay. Because ultimately, I think that your priority has been, and always will be, your well-being and happiness. But now, you know, at a different age, at a different time, different space, different global situation, that's for sure. Um, what makes you happy is different, but you're still pursuing what makes you happy. It just happens to be more related to perhaps stability rather than adventure or something along those lines. Take it, of course, if it resonates. All right, the challenge here, you could be having a little bit of a challenge with money, equal give and take, receiving the money that you have earned and worked for. Maybe some of you guys are owed money Maybe you're waiting for that money. Maybe um, you feel like you have done more work than the rewards that are showing up. Some of you may be yeah, waiting for perhaps a bonus or a big amount of money to be um, released to you. Some of you guys could be having a hard time setting boundaries in regards to money. You may feel a little bit confused about how much you should give, what's appropriate, what's too much, you know. But what I see here, Pisces, is that you are and will be so free. <laughs> there is this very powerful energy of freedom. So, you know, if right now you are feeling that because of this foundation and this structure, Maybe you're tight with money. Maybe you are, um, you know, having trouble paying the bills, having trouble or maybe going from paycheck to paycheck. You know, if you're feeling a little tight, um, it seems like this is going to definitely change in the future. Okay, put it in God's hands, put it in the universe hands and you will see a very big shift. Because what I see here is freedom. I see luxury. I see independence. I see... Someone who gets to enjoy life because they have the time, because they're stress-free, you know. Some of you may be, once you stabilize yourself a little bit more, which will look different for all of you. Some of you have a longer road to get there. Others of you are practically there. But someone here is showing me that food is going to become very irrelevant. Maybe some of you guys are going to start cooking or entering some kind of like culinary school. It's just gonna bring a lot of pleasure to you, especially like herbs and 
um, maybe vegan stuff, plant-based stuff, and not with any kind of restriction, but instead sort of like honoring the plants, honoring the medicine of the food. Some of you guys are going to be practicing also lots of herbal magic, which happens to be my favorite. <laughs> I can see here lots of herbs. I see basil, rosemary, lavender, you know, a lot of really powerful, powerful um, beings here with their own medicine, right? And someone very happy making the most out of those energies available. In your mind space, I think Pisces that you're having lots of ideas. See how she's holding on to a bunch of light bulbs? I feel like you're having a lot of light bulb moments. I feel like you are sort of coming up with groundbreaking ideas that are really opening the path for you, maybe for your family, maybe for your education, maybe for your friends, your team, whatever it is. But it seems like you are the one that's bringing the light bulb, <laughs> the clarity, the million dollar ideas. And I think we mentioned that in a reading previously. You've got the star as the energy that is representing you, Pisces. I sometimes kind of like move the cards this way because the light comes from the window so you can see it. They're too dark if I put it this way. Um, the, the star is representing you. A wish placed upon a star is coming true, Pisces. You are very much in alignment to the universe. And I feel like the universe is responding to you. It's listening. And I mean, it's all, it always is. Law of attraction is not something that you turn off. The way I like to see it is that law of attraction sort of behaves a little bit like the algorithm in social media. In which it's like, maybe you think about... I don't know, like, I'm feeling very tired. That's my example today, because I'm feeling very tired. Um, maybe you look up a video, how to not feel tired or something. And then, you know, before you know it, your feed is packed with a whole bunch of videos that you did not search for, but are showing up. Because you asked for that, you know, you put that signal out there, you put that energy out there, and then that comes as a response. And I feel like the same way, um, when you send that desire to the universe, you're going to start seeing more and more evidence come to you in all shapes and forms to pretty much tell you that this is in the making, that this is coming true for you. Now, in your environment, people may be feeling a little confused. People may be feeling conflicted, exhausted, fatigued, someone here could be having headaches, someone here could be having a lot of stress, someone around you, it's not you, it's someone around you. A group of people may be discussing several things. I see someone here who is like, oh my god, like I need this to be over. And that could be a process, that could be a job, a project, that could be a specific goal, and they're just sick of it. They seriously are, just like, ugh, I need this to be over. Could be someone moving, could be someone that needs to finish something, graduate, or I don't know. It's a process that maybe they thought was going to be easier, maybe they thought it was going to be shorter in time, and it has dragged on, and they're, now they're really saturated with it, okay? Could be a, Le a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be though. Then we've got the Page of Cups in your hopes and fears. Pisces, I still get this sense that you want love. But maybe you're even shy about asking for it. We have said this in so many readings recently. Because this keeps showing up, the Seven of Swords. You could be needing to do a little checkup with yourself and ask yourself if you're really ready for love. But you know what? The Seven of Swords also talks about shady energy. Someone here who maybe doesn't have your best interest at heart. Maybe someone here who is kind of jealous, vindictive, resented, resentful. This could be someone who le lives on the outsides of a city. This could be a male, doesn't have to be the case. 
Let's see what the cards have to say about this individual. Where or how is this person in connection to Pisces? Okay, Pisces, so this could have been someone you left behind, someone you abandoned, someone you rejected. This could be someone who feels very, very bad about themselves. Maybe someone who had strong feelings for you. This could be like an ex. This could be someone, an ex friend as well, that you pushed away. And they feel very resentful towards you. Could be a cancer energy. And this person really is struggling big time. They see you progress. They see you move forward. And they almost want to pinch your tires. Because they're so mad at the fact that you're doing good, Pisces. Don't let them stop you. Don't let them come closer to you. Keep your circle small at this time. Keep your circle, you know, with the people that you trust fully. Don't open up your circle right now to someone pretending to be sweet and kind and loving, but that you can tell are resentful. This is someone that you know. This is someone that you have hurt. Not intentionally. I feel you had to move forward. I feel like you had to leave them behind because you had ambitions and you had goals and you had to move forward. And this person didn't seem to want to join you. They were invited, but they didn't want to come along because that represented change and growth for them that they did not want to do. Okay, so if that person comes around, you know, beware. Beware. Let's pull some oracles here. For those of you who are having challenges in money, because we did see the six of um, pentacles there crossing, remember that the Abundance Blueprint course is available for you at 50% off right now. And I know that I always, you know, insert this little ads <laughs> in all of the readings when we have the sales. But also remember, Pisces, that I have created this for you. Not necessarily for the income, not necessarily for, you know, whatever. This is something that I very lovingly created for all of you who are struggling with money. You're a Pisces. You're a spiritual being. You have no time to be dealing with money issues. You're supposed to be saving the world. <laughs> You're supposed to be using your intuitive gift to elevate the frequency of the planet. And I don't think that you can really focus on that. If you're counting your money all the time, stressed out, actually lowering the frequency of the collective. And not that, you know, not that that is something that you need to fix for the collective, you know. But it's just something that frees you a lot. Having, people say that, you know, money doesn't bring happiness. But I don't know if you have, like, really struggled. Having money helps a lot with that happiness <laughs> you know it really makes a difference so the abundance blueprint is a course that i created for that to especially for empaths light workers people who get this lingo you know through energy work rituals and healings you get to really you know have all the tools that you need to leave that blockage behind. It is our bestseller and I can't tell you how much positive feedback we've had about it. So I'm going to stop rambling, let's continue with the reading. <laughs> but yeah, just know that if you are struggling, maybe you don't have to. Maybe this can help. If it resonates, of course. Someone here watching could be in their 40s. We got the 49, 45, 43 card. Someone here may be feeling like they are, in a way, kind of like reversing in progress. Like maybe you feel like you were doing great and then like not so great and like now it's like difficult. Instead of moving forward and progressing, it seems like a little bit of a rewind for someone watching. Willing release is the first card that we have here. And, you know, sometimes releasing comfort zones, things that we're very used to, 
sometimes that's not easy. And, you know, this person who was showing up in the tarot reading, who's resentful and kind of hurt, they have a really hard time releasing, it seems. Do you? Do you have a hard time releasing, Pisces? What is it that you're holding on to? What is it that is proving difficult to release? Beyond the ordinary. That's how I see you, Pisces. I feel like Pisces are spiritual beings that sort of hold the energy of all previous signs because Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. And I feel like we have so many past lives of wisdom and knowledge. And I feel like we are beyond the ordinary. And I know that that may sound super egotistical to some, but it's not coming from a space of ego. It's coming from a space of awareness and acknowledgement that we can help. <laughs> like we can make a difference because we have all the tools whereas some other people have tools to focus on what they need to focus on about their own life but I feel like Pisces has already been through those processes and most of the time it's actually about how to heal ourselves and elevate others in the way spirit of gratitude the number 43 may be relevant for some of you this is a, or it looks like, a lotus flower. Lotus grows its beautiful, beautiful flower from the most difficult environments. From the mud, from the difficulty, from every challenge, it finds a way to grow beautifully. It's one of the most beautiful flowers. But it comes from, like, the shittiest places. So, you know... Take that and apply it to your life if it resonates, okay? How can you, or how how have you taken a really shitty situation and turn it around? That is sort of like a testimony of your strength. So Pisces, this is what I have for you today. This is the first reading of many um, that I'm going to be posting this weekend. I'm super sleepy. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys are feeling the same way. Please let me know in the comment section. And please let me know what you do <laughs> when you're super sleepy. Like, does coffee work for you? Does, like, a cold shower work for you? Please let me know what, what do you use to, like, snap out of it. Because I'm super sleepy and I have lots to do. And I'm optimistic and I really want to do these readings. But I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Um, maybe it's Justin Bieber's fault. I don't know. <laughs> Pisces, I will see you in the next reading. I love you. All the information for the products is going to be in the description box below. I really truly hope that you make um, the most out of this sale. 50% off is a big percentage. <laughs> so I hope that, you know, you enjoy it. Bye, my loves.